Hi, I'm Steve Cousins, and I'm excited to tell you about a collaboration between Willow Garage, the Healthcare Robotics Lab at Georgia Tech, the Media and Machines Lab at Washington University in St. Louis, and Henry and Jane Evans. We call this project Robots for Humanity. When Henry was 40, he suffered a brain stem stroke, which left him unable to move his limbs or speak. Jane, his wife, helps him with most of his daily living tasks, including eating and speaking. R O C B robot. After extensive physical therapy, Henry can move his head and has limited use of one finger. This allows him to virtually move a mouse with his head. He can surf the web, correspond using email, and write documents. Henry saw a PR2 on CNN and wondered whether it could help him. We have been working with him ever since to develop tools and interfaces that allow him to control the PR2 and to use it for his daily activities. It is extremely important for Henry to be able to do things for himself, both for practical reasons but also so that he is in control of his own world. Even simple tasks such as scratching an itch are important. Henry estimates that two or three times an hour he gets an itch that he cannot scratch himself. In June of 2011, he moved a PR2's hand near his face and by moving his head, scratched his own face for the first time in 10 years. Henry hates being shaved, so we tried letting him shave himself with the robot. He was successfully able to shave his cheek by moving the electric razor to his head and moving his head around. We're actively working to let him do a more complete job. While these are small steps, they demonstrate how we can use robots to give physical assistance to persons with severe physical disabilities. The interfaces we have developed allow Henry to interact with the robot's autonomous capabilities, such as navigating around the building, avoiding obstacles, and grasping and manipulating objects. All the tasks that you see in this video are performed by the robot under Henry's direction and with his input through interfaces developed by the Robots for Humanity project. Using these interfaces in the lab, Henry has made the robot put objects in a drawer from another room and grasp objects from a cluttered shelf at a rate similar to that of able-bodied naive users. Moving outside the lab, Henry has used a PR2 to give out candy to trick-or-treating kids at a local mall on Halloween. In his own home, he has demonstrated the robot's ability to operate in a truly unstructured environment by controlling the robot to retrieve a towel from the kitchen. Robots that complement human abilities are extremely valuable, especially when they allow us to do things we can't do by ourselves. Our goal is to enable robots in homes to help people like Henry, and this is just the beginning.